Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a box to show you and it's come from Diamond Art Studio UK and yeah, it's a fantastic diamond painting company here in the UK. Yay! Okay, I only ordered it yesterday afternoon and it arrived this morning. Yay! Well done on postage. That is absolutely fantastic. It's great to be in the UK and to be able to order a canvas and it comes the next day. Obviously, I can't guarantee that. It depends on the postage. And we are having a few strikes and things at the moment. So, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you. It just come in this lovely thick bag. So if you've got um, a courier like my old one used to be, that if you're not in, it just leaves it outside then it's not going to hopefully get damaged because it's sealed in a lovely big thick plastic bag. So let me get it out of this bag and then we'll have a look at the rest of it. It's only because it's got my address on it. Okay. So that's the big bit done. We've got a little bit of a squish there, but it's in a box. So that's what it's there for. Um, you know, I'm never overly bothered if a box... I mean, that's very, very minimal, but I'm never overly bothered if got, the box gets a bit squished because that's what the box is for. It's to protect whatever's inside. And as long as what's inside is OK, then that's fab. Yay! Oh, look at this. I think uh, Sam probably sits and does all these bows and packages them all up. And uh, we've got a little sticker on the back just to hold it in place. I've already got uh, two on my desk, so I won't put that one on my desk as well. But I do keep my ribbons because I don't think they're pretty lovely and purple. Okay, so I'll just hang that over there for now. You do get a lovely little thank you for your purchase card. And on the back here, it does give the uh, details of the company. Yay! Okay, so always good to get a thank you. Okay, so... <laughs> I've taken it out of the plastic bag and I've un uh, done the brown paper as well. I didn't think you'd want to just sit and watch me take brown paper off. Uh, yeah, it arrived in a lot better condition than uh, when Hubby decided to shred the paper off the package because he was sick of me getting packages and him not. Um, and uh, yeah. Poor Sam went into a panic thinking that that's how uh, the parcel had arrived when she saw my little thumbnail photograph on my video. <laughs> Sam's the uh, lovely lady that her and her hubby own uh, Diamond Art Studio. So, yeah, it didn't arrive like that. Fortunately, she did see the video and see that hubby had got to it first. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm a very slow person at opening the paper because I like to keep the paper and recycle it, reuse it. And I think you'd have just been bored watching me do that. So either that or you'd be saying, well, you're just... Get it ripped up, you know, like when kids get their Christmas presents and they decide that they're going to open the paper really, really gently. And all you're wanting to do is get the paper open so I can see whether you like your present or not. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. OK, well, as ever, it's in a fantastic box. It's holographic. I think. Oh, yes, you can. You can see these holographic stripes just coming sort of down here this way. Yeah, they're fantastic. Um, but I'm sorry about having the lights on, but it's very dark here today. Uh, we're having quite sort of windy, stormy weather. Um, okay, let's get into this and have a look at this canvas. And for me, it's a biggie. Okay, so it's coming in a big box. But uh, yeah, that's what boxes are for. I mean, actually, there's a little tiny ding, I think, on one side. Just a little tiny bit, but the boxes are there to actually keep your product, uh, whatever you've got inside, oh, we've got a bit of plastic stuff there, um, safe. So, we've got our toolkit, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Looks like we've got an escapee of wax. We've got our drills nicely tucked inside, and they're all in bags. Yay! And it's got the um, code on the front there as well. So, if it does get separated, if you do separate your canvas from your drills, that should code for your canvas, I do believe. We've got all the same nice baggies and oh look we start at 154, my favourite. <laughs> and uh, lots of 3865, that is a big bag of cream so I think we're having quite a big background. And yeah, they've got all the DMC numbers and the weight on them so that's brilliant. But look at those colours. So it's a Liz canvas, what do we think it's going to be? 
let me have a look uh, it's actually part of their wonky range which means it's not a perfect canvas now the last canvas i got was actually a prize that i'd won um admo zest and diamond art studios collaboration can't say that easily <laughs> from last Christmas um, and they'd called it their wonky range well I couldn't find what was wrong with it I mean I don't go 100% looking as to me as long as I can get the drills stuck down then it doesn't really make a huge difference but look it's a little bulldog oh how cute is this actually it's not a little bulldog it's a big bulldog it's practically life size <laughs> Uh, no, I think bulldogs are a bit bigger than this, but I reckon that's about Millie's size. If I sat Millie next to this, our little Scotty dog, I think that she may be that size. Just slide you down a little bit so you can see his look and he's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> but I just, I've loved him for ages and ages. And I've been umming and ahhing and thinking, shall I get it, shan't I get it? Because I don't know whether I'll put him on the wall or not with him being a bulldog. Uh, I don't know whether Millie would get upset because, you know, we're Scotties in this house. Hence Scotty Dog Crafts. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just love it. I mean, I love all animals. I love dogs. Um, and I just thought this one was super. And I just love that it's sticking its tongue out. It just makes me smile. And as I always say, that's what it's all about. If it makes you happy and makes you smile, then why not? And, uh, yes, I decided when I saw that they had one on sale in their wonky range, a 50 by 50 canvas for £21, including free shipping, free postage. It would have been rude not to. What can I say? I say I'm not going to go looking for the fault. I don't want to know where it is. Uh, I can't obviously see anything. It's got a lovely clear drill field. It's got a lovely clear cover. We've got a key code at both sides with a little thumbnail picture just up here that's your canvas code on there yeah it's doggo 3 50 by 50 wow we are 31 colors and all dmc codes so yeah 31 colors including all of this background goodness me and then lots of other different shades and colors as we come round. look at those it always amazes me, and I know I keep saying it, but it does still amaze me that you will put all those colours onto this dog and it will look like a dog. It won't look like a pink dog. It will look like a bulldog with all its shading in its tans and cream. So, oh, look at that little face. Couldn't you just pick it up and give it a big slobbery cuddle and kiss? <laughs> It'd definitely give you a slobbery cuddle and kiss. Actually, my uh, my great auntie, my grandma's sister, used to have dogs. Uh, we were never allowed a dog when I was small. And she actually had a bulldog called Vicky. And she absolutely loved women, didn't like men. And my poor dad, my auntie was on her own. Um, and my poor dad used to go around and do jobs. And the dog had to be kept away from him because she'd just go mad and bite him. She used to let him in the house and wouldn't let him out the house. <laughs> So unfortunately he did go to unblock a sink or something one day for her and uh, yeah he did get his ankles nipped and then she smiles at you and walks off. <laughs> but I was very very little I can vaguely remember her I remember more um, that then my auntie got a cross between a Yorkshire Terrier and a Jack Russell afterwards that little dog was called Cindy and she was absolutely adorable and I used to go and stay with my auntie so that I could uh, take the dog for a walk and play with the dog I was that desperate for a dog <laughs> sadly I had to wait until I had my own house before I could get a dog but anyway so yeah this is why I've got lots of dogs all over the house now and I do love getting dog diamond paintings this is super. I'm just sat here looking at it, smiling. I've got the biggest smile on my face. My cheeks are late, late, later from smiling, I can tell. Uh, let's give it a quick measure. I don't think we really need to measure it, but we'll measure it anyway. So, yeah, we are 50 centimetres, which is 19, between 19 and a half, 19 and three quarter inches. I'm not to the millimetre on these. I'm just giving you a rough idea. And again, yeah, roughly 50 centimetres, 19 um, and three quarter, 19 and a half inches. So, yeah, it's true to size, the actual drill field area. 
I haven't got any 50 by 50 frames either. So if I do want to frame this, I am going to have to buy a frame. But there is that fantastic lady that's in the UK that I got them uh, my 40 by 40s from um, that has the Perspex cover. Sorry, that has the Perspex instead of glass inside the frame. So it makes them that bit lighter because when you get a big canvas this size and get all those drills on, it's a really heavy canvas. There's a lot of weight there. So I like to really have a Perspex um, cover rather than cover. What would you call it? Perspex, Perspex. I don't know. It is a cover in the, <laughs> in the frame. Um, so that it doesn't add to the weight because a piece of glass that's 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres will be fairly heavy as well. And if it falls off the wall, it's a big piece of glass. So, yeah, uh, we haven't got brilliant walls. We're in a sort of fairly new build house. I mean, we've been here 20 years, but it's, you know, not not sort of brick walls in between so you've got to be careful where you hang things otherwise they drop off the wall anyway i'm rambling can you tell i haven't spoken to anybody today <laughs> hope he's asleep uh right this is your key code so let's have a look at those I've got all the symbols and letters all those colors okay uh, there's a few say different symbols it's a case of working with it to see what's going to work and what's not uh we've got an r i can't see a p they tend to trip me up quite a bit uh i can't really see anything that i think is jumping out at me we've got an, H, an h and an n uh, that sometimes trip me up but actually they're different colors so that's pretty good we've got an eight but we've not got a b so I think we should be okay, but once I've done it, I will let you know um, what it's like. Let's have a quick look at the drill field. Have we got any dark colours? We've got a little bit of dark there. Look around the bulldog's eye. Look at that tongue sticking out. I think you can see there that is really, really clear. Yeah, really good. But they are excellent quality. It's a nice softish canvas, but not too soft, not real floppy. I can't be doing with a canvas that's so floppy that when you, you're working on it, it just rolls off the desk because it's so floppy. These have just got that nice bit of stiffness to them that, for me, makes it easier to work on. Because, uh, as I say, I do work sort of on a little table next to me or on a little table on my knee. So, yeah, I mean, you can see now from when it was rolled up how it's just flattening itself out. Once this has gone in my... Uh, it'll have to go in my A2 folder because it won't go in my A3. Uh, it will flatten itself out nicely. In fact, actually, it may have to go in my A1 size folder, which that has to live on the bed because it's so big. <laughs> oh, I just love this. I just want to sit and stroke him or her. No, I think it's definitely a naughty little boy stuck in, sticking his tongue out. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this at all kit. This, it looks like the wax has decided to escape. But we can soon round it back up and put it in its little pot. You don't have to have the toolkit with these. Uh, you can choose whether you do want it or not. Oh, these trays are always just that little bit snug in here. Let's just pull that out of there. That's it. Okay. So we have our nice, good quality tweezers. Very, very sharp and very pointy. And I have got a little spot on my finger at the moment. Where I did manage to stab myself with a pair the other day. The uh, little cover had come off the lid and yeah I was fumbling about in my drawer and it stuck straight in my finger so yeah just be careful with those. Oh got a little bit of extra get rid of that. We've got your basic single place a blue pen and you do get a nice blue squishy to go with it as well. We've got uh, one thick piece of wax I think that's just one. Yep and it has got a plastic cover on the top so always remember to take the plastic cover off i have several times gone to get some wax thinking why can't i get the wax and it's because the little plastic cover is still on the wax and it comes in a lovely little pot and they're really handy these because if you've got any extra special drills or you just want to smatter a few special drills on a painting that you're doing you could just decant them into one of these little pots rather than having a big pot or taking up extra space on your desk and just keep dipping in and out of a little pot. So a great idea. Or you can just refill it with wax. Right, we have some little multi-places here. So what do we have? 
do they have the numbers on them uh, yes that one is a <laughs> i'm reading it upside down a seven play set and that one is a four play set and they are the new style little thinner plastic ones which i understand are better than the thicker ones obviously it's personal use and um, to be honest i don't tend to multi-place i am a single placer girl Um, i may or may not start multi-placing i've got quite a bit that i could practice on here so you never know i never say never but i seem to find that i can get a pretty good <laughs> I can get up a pretty good uh, pace when I'm single placing. So I don't know whether I really want to be bothered with having to get all my drills in line to then pick them up and put them down. And because my eyesight's not brilliant, I'm likely to put them wonky and then it'll probably take me longer to straighten them out than it would have done to just pick them up singly and go. So, but again, personal preference. Um, and I love diamond painting. I just like the experience of just putting my little left uh, drills down i've never tried using tweezers uh, i think i'd probably get more frustrated because i am quite clumsy as well so if i start picking them up and they start pinging out of the tweezers i'm just going to get cross <laughs> so i can't do that either okay you, as i say you don't have to have the toolkit there is the choice as to whether you get it or not but i wanted to get it with this one because it's a while since i've had one and i just wanted to see whether they were the same or not okay Let's have a look at these drills. Gorgeous colours. Okay. Wow, that is a huge bag. Look at the size of that. Wow. I like colours and they just look so clear and sparkly. Gorgeous. So, yep, yeah, there's a 92 0.27 grams in there so that's is that nearly a kilogram is a hundred grams a kilogram no a thousand grams is a kilogram oh i don't know don't ask me <laughs> i'm sure somebody can tell me because i'm no good at uh, unless i've got a book that's what google's for <laughs> so we've got a pinky color and like i don't know what's that like a deep peachy bronzy color and then uh, oh that's looked like a fake tan orangey colour that one <laughs> and then that's more me very very pale <laughs> that's a rosy pink when i get embarrassed <laughs> and that's uh, quite a deep pink for uh, when i've sunburned <laughs> oh dear and we've got a little bit of 3371 which is a very dark brown and a lovely bright orange look at that that is really going to blend in and make that little dock pop all the different shading on it got your burgundy and like a rusty brown and a very bright pink yeah that's more me lobster pink when i go out in the sun i can't believe it's only a few weeks ago that we were moaning about how hot it was in the uk and now we're all thinking oh no we're gonna have to put the heating on <laughs> It just changes so quickly here. All right, we've got another brown and another sort of browny orangey colour and a nice chestnutty colour and some more sort of orangey browny colours, peachy colours. And that's like a, a rosy sort of russety colour. Very nice. Some gorgeous colours, as I say. You don't expect... Um, a dog painting to have so many colours but I do tend to do quite a few animals and quite a few dogs so I am getting used to it now uh, so I've got a lovely rose pink that's gorgeous like that colour and another burgundy colour and a slightly different shade that's more of a brownie burgundy and another like uh, what's that lobsterish pink again and a russety colour and that's oh there's a lot of that one so that's going to be quite a bit of the shade in there as well and that color so i think cat bulldog's going to be mainly those two colors with the others shading around him or her another nice pink i've tipped these to try and keep them in order but they're not actually in order are they so well spotted anybody that spotted they're not in order but that's okay I will probably kit this up into bottles because it's such a big canvas and it will probably take me a while to do. 
so I will want it in bottles um, so that I can put it down and come back to it. If it's in bags, I'm likely to leave the bags open. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just a disaster. <laughs> Okay, so we've got 154, which I always seem to get in dog paintings. Another rose, another peach. That's, oh, look, hardly any. 310 black. Wow. And 300 is your nice deep brownie colour. Okay. Wow. Pop that in there as well so I don't lose it. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at this with me. Um, as I say, it was on special offer. If you go to their wonky range, um, there do tend to be a, an odd one there that you can have a look at. There is some clearance in there as well because they have got lots and lots of new fantastic canvases coming out. They're absolutely wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to twist Hubby's arm maybe for Christmas to get one of the really big ones um i think next year i want to start trying to do my bigger ones more but uh yeah at the moment i'm quite happy just doing my smaller ones so this is a 50 by 50 and it is big for me <laughs> okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me if you have as always a thumbs up is much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below and if you do want to come back and see what I get up to next and to see all the other lovely things that I've got coming up and updates on my canvases and updates on my completions and I've got quite a few little things coming up that you may find handy as well, little hints and tips and things. So yeah, if you press this subscribe button down here in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay well that's me done for now so thank you ever so much for stopping by okay bye for now